kids, it is so great to finally see you. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Just okay. Hold on. Oh. 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 <laughs> Not nice. I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, do any of you happen to know someone maybe who could mend my chair? <laughs> That's right, kids. It's a song. It's always a song, isn't it? Yeah. Ready, sing with me, and here we go. Chairs to mend, old chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel. Any old rags, any old rags. Yeah, too easy. We should sing it in canon. I will go first, you come in second. Don't forget to look out for my hold signal, my fermata. Ready, here I go. Chairs to mend, old chairs to mend. Chairs mackerel, mend, fresh mackerel, mend, any old mackerel, rags, any old rags, any chairs old to mend, rags, old chairs old to rags. mend. Hey, very, very good. We should add a third part. Okay, I know just the person. I'm going to call my friend Jerry. He's a really great singer and a good musician. And I think if we put him on speakerphone he could sing the third part for us. Okay. No. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, it's me. No. Mr. Holland Garcia. No. What do you, how many of Mr. Holland Garcias do you know, Jerry? No. Yes, that's the one. No. Okay, hey, listen, listen. Uh -huh. I'm here with my students. We're singing Chairs to Mend. Oh, I'm hearing Yeah, that. yeah, you know that song. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep, and I'm singing part one. They're singing part two, uh -huh. and we want to see if you can do part three for us. Uh -huh. Great. That's awesome. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put you on speakerphone uh -huh. so the kids can hear you. Okay, hold on. Uh -huh. Hold on. Uh -huh. Okay, kids. Jerry said he would do it. So I sing part one. You sing part two. Jerry will sing part three. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Here I go. Chairs to mend. All oh, chairs to mend. Mackerel, fresh mackerel, any old rags, any old rags, chairs to mend, all chairs to mend, mackerel, fresh mackerel. Hey, we did it, we did it. Jerry, didn't they sound good? I know, they worked really hard. Good job, kids. Hey, Jerry, thanks for thanks for helping us out. Yeah. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Nice job, kids. I think Jerry was pretty impressed. But you know what I want to do? Really, could you actually could you help me out by because uh, I want to write the rhythm of phrase one. So please sing and sing it for me and clap the words. Ready, sing and clap the words for me. Chairs to mend, all oh, chairs to mend. Sing and pat the beat. Ready, here you go. Chairs to mend, all oh, chairs to mend. Hmm. Sing the rhythm syllables. Ready, here you go. Ta di ta 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 di ta. Sing the rhythm syllables again. Point to the blank beats. Ready, here you go. Ta di ta 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 di ta. Now I heard you say ta on the very first beat, but that ta was longer than one beat. So was it two full beats? Sing it slower and double check for me. Ready, here you go. We had ta. Was it two full beats? No, it wasn't two full beats. So it was more than one beat. It was less than two beats. So that means we had a sound that was one and a half beats long. And that sound was followed by a shorter sound that was how long? Half of a beat. Mm -hmm. Very good. So when we have a sound that is one and a half beats long, followed by a short sound that's half a beat long, we'll say... Ta di, say that please. Very good. And we will write 
a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note. Dotted quarter note is pretty simple. It's a quarter note with a dot. And an eighth note is pretty simple. It is a stem and a flag. Yes, I bet you could probably write a lot more neatly than I could through. All right. Sing the rhythm syllables and here you go. Ta -dee. I heard you say ta on beat number three. Was that just one beat long? Yeah, it was. Okay, so since we have a ta that was one beat long, that's just a quarter note. Boop. And beat four, I heard you say ta again. So we have a... Yes, a quarter note. Sing the whole thing ready, here you go. Ta dee ta ta. Hmm. What did you notice in these four beats compared to these four beats? They were the same. So I can copy. We have a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note followed by quarter note, followed by a quarter note. Very good. Read the whole thing, ready, here you go. Nice work, kids. Good job. Okay, I will catch up with you later. <laughs> and I'm back. And I'm sitting in a much stronger chair. <laughs> Sit back, kids. Relax. Enjoy this little story. song kids I just love that song so much all right I'm gonna sing it again but I'm gonna be stopping along the way I'm gonna ask you some questions I'm gonna explain a few things about this story are you ready all right here I go down in some lone valley in a lonesome place where is the singer living some lonely valley in a lonesome place oh he's all, this person's all alone where the wild birds do whistle and their notes do increase. Farewell, pretty Sarah, I bid you adieu. Oh, when you say, I bid you adieu, that means I'm saying goodbye. 
Farewell, pretty Sarah. I bid you adieu. Oh, so they're saying bye to pretty Sarah. But I'll dream of pretty Sarah wherever I go. Oh, they're going to dream of pretty Sarah wherever they go. They're leaving pretty Sarah behind. Oh, they're in love with pretty Sarah and they're having to say goodbye. Of course, they're in a lonesome place. That's sad. My love, she won't have me, so I understand. Oh, hold on now. My love, she won't have me. She doesn't want this person. Oh, I wonder why. She wants a freeholder who owns house and land. Aha. She wants a freeholder who owns house and land. So she wants somebody, you know, this is an old song and way back in the day, one way that a person had a lot of wealth was if they owned land and if they owned their own house. And so she wants someone who's a freeholder who owns their own house and land. And so our person singing the song, what can we infer? They probably don't have that. I cannot maintain her with silver and gold. Oh, he can't give her silver. They can't give her gold. Oh. Nor buy all the fine things that a big house can hold. They can't give her nice things. So pretty Sarah, she wants someone who has some money. Maybe she wants some stability in her life. Maybe... Maybe she just likes having nice things. I don't know, but I feel kind of bad for our singer because they really seem to love her. If I were a merchant and could write a free hand. If I were a merchant and could write a free hand. You know, back in this time, not everybody could read or write. They didn't all go to school like we go to nowadays. So you could be a person who grew up their whole life never learning how to read, and never learning how to write. And it kind of sounds like that's what our singer is going through as well. If I were a merchant, so a merchant is a person who sells things. And back then, if you were gonna be a merchant, you had to be good at math. If you, like we're owning a store, you had to be good at math, you had to be able to read, you had to be able to write. So he's saying if I were a merchant and could write a free hand, well, what would he do with that? I'd write my love a letter that she'd understand. Oh, he'd write her a letter that she'd understand. Oh, well, okay, he'd write her a letter. I wonder what he would put in it. What do you think? I'd write it by the river where the waters overflow. That's pretty clear. He'd sit down in a beautiful place, write her a letter telling, telling her how much they love her. And I'll dream of pretty Sarah wherever I go. Uh, so now, matter what, they are never going to forget about pretty Sarah. Mm. Okay, this is kind of a sad song. I feel a little bit bad for the person singing this song. Oh, what a bummer. But you know what? Even though sometimes things are sad, they're still really beautiful and this is one of those songs you know it would be great would you actually sing this whole thing with me i'm gonna put up the words so you can see and so you can read along and we'll do it together Alrighty, here we go <laughs>
If I were a merchant and could buy a free man, I'd write my love letter that she'd understand. I'd write it by the river where the waters o'erflow, and I'll dream of its arrow wherever I go. Thanks for making some great music with me today. La tale marvolo, cheap cabo corrojat, cheap cabo corrojat, cursed kid salmayoronat. Hey kids, do you remember what language that is? I'll give you a clue. It comes from a country that is in Central Europe. It starts with an H. Sounds like the word we use for when our body needs food. Hungary. Yeah, okay. Or not hungry. Not hungry. Hungary. And in Hungary, they speak Hungarian. You're probably wondering what the song means. By the way, to the people who are Hungarian speakers out there, I'm very sorry if I didn't do your language justice. But you're probably wondering what those words mean. Basically, it translates to, roughly, have you ever seen a rose bush between two vines of marjoram, which is another kind of a plant? Pretty, isn't it? Sing it with me. We'll do it on Lu. Bum, bum. Ready, here we go. Lu, 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 Let's do it in canon. I'll go first, you'll come on in after me. Here I go. Beautiful. Thank you, kids. Do you know what my favorite phrase is in that song? Definitely phrase two. Mm -hmm. It goes like this. Hey, sing it with me. Sing with me and copy what I do. Sing with me and copy what I do. Lu, 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 lu. Hmm. Sing with me and copy what I do. Lu, 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 lu. Hmm. What direction would you say those pitches are going? Yes, I agree. They're going up. Bum bum, sing him again. Here we go. Lu 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 lu. How many different pitches are in that phrase? I'm guessing you probably said either five or six. Let's sing it again and check. Ready? Here you go. Lu lu lu. Yep, five, because the last pitch was repeated. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera here. I'm gonna put those five pitches up here on my wall. One, eh, come on, two, three, four, five. And the last one was repeated, so I'm gonna put it at the same level, five, Hey, okay, oh cool. Now, nice and evenly spaced apart. Every single pitch is equal distance apart. Let me sing them equally spaced apart. One, two, three, four, five, five. 
No, that sounded weird. Okay, refresh our memory, sing the way it should go. Bum, bum, ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five. You know what that tells me? That probably means that there should be a step in there that is not equal. <gasps> a half step. Oh my. Okay, I'm going to readjust this. Hold on. I'm going to move down pitch number five so that now it's a half step between four and five. I'm going to sing it. You tell me if it sounds correct, if it matches the way that it should go. Bum, bum. One, two, three, four, five, five. What do you think? Did that match the way it should go? No, it didn't. Let me put the five back where it should be. Okay, five, you get up there. Hey kids, please refresh your memory. Sing the way it should go. Bum, bum, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five. All right, now I'm going to move up number one. So now I have a half step between one and two. Let me sing that. You let me know if this sounds right. Bum, bum. One, two, three, four, five, five. Did that match? No? Okay, all right. Sing the way it should go for me then. Bum, bum, here you go. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, let me, I'm going to move up number two. Okay, so now we have a half step again here. I mean, a whole step again here. And we have a half step between two and three. Let me sing it this way. You tell me if this matches now. Bum, bum, here I go. One, two, three, four, five, five. Was it a match? Still no? Ah, ah, okay. Sing the way it should go. Ready, here you go. One, two, three, four, five, five. All right. All right, I'm going to move up number three. There. Now we have a half step between number three and number four. Let's see if it matches. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, five. Did we have a match? Finally! Oh my goodness, that means there is a half step between the third pitch and the fourth pitch. Ah! Oh! One to two is a whole step. Two to three is a whole step. Three to four is a half step. Four to five is a whole step. Yes! Okay, let's do it going backwards. Five to four is a whole step. Four to three is a half step. Three to two is a whole step. And two to one is a whole step. Nicely done, kids. Hey, kids. Let's sing a song. Shabbat with me. Ready? Shabbat, don't you cry. Go to sleepy little baby. When you wake, you shall have all the pretty little horses, blacks and bays, dapples and grays, coach and six a little horse. Blacks and bays, dapples and grays, coach and six a little horses. Hush up, I don't you cry, go to sleepy little baby. When you wake, you shall have all the pretty little horses. Thank you, kids. Now, you know what I would really love to do is 
Think about my favorite part, which goes like this. Bum, 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 bum. Sing that part for me and clap it, ready, go. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, sing it with rhythm syllables this time. Ready, here you go. Ta dee ta dee ta dee ta ta. <gasps> Whoa, what did this one start with? Ta dee. Oh, a sound that's one and a half beats followed by a sound that's half a beat. <gasps> we say ta dee, but what do we write? A dotted quarter note and an eighth note. Okay, I need you to go grab a piece of paper and a pencil and meet me right back here. You can pause this video. Okay, ready? And pause. Did you pause it? Are we back? Okay, we're back. All right. Hey, on your piece of paper, please write eight evenly spaced blank beats like this. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how it goes all the way across my page? They're nice and evenly spaced. Okay, take a minute to do that. Pause the video if you need to. Did you pause it? Are we ready? Okay, I think we're ready. Sing with rhythm syllables and tap those beats. Ta di ta di ta di ta ta. Ooh. What did you sing very, very first? Ta di. Hey, okay, and you said that we needed a dotted quarter note and an eighth note. Okay, all right. Yeah, so a dotted quarter note, just to review. We have a quarter note, dot. And the eighth note, where does that go? Because that's one and a half beats. It takes up all of that space. So the eighth note has to go right there, stem and a flag. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that line. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Sing the rhythm syllables. Here you go. Ta di ta di ta di ta ta. Very good. Okay, take a minute. Fill in what you just wrote. What you just said. Pause if you need to. Did you pause it? Are we ready? Okay. Notice I'm not filling it in for you. That's your job. That's your job. Okay. Sing the whole thing. Double check your work, please. Ta di ta di ta di ta ta. Very good. Okay. On the same page. Do not erase what you just wrote, but please write another eight blank beats beneath it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more beats below that. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Let's see. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Chairs to mend. Ready, sing it and tap these beats. Chairs to mend, all oh, chairs to mend. Hmm. Sing the rhythm syllables. Ready, here you go. Ta di ta 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 di ta. Write what you just said. I'll give you a minute. Pause if you need to. Sing that a kid, kids, ready, here you go. Ta di ta 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 di ta. Okay, fill in anything else if you need to. All right. Can I let you in on a little secret? so embarrassing oh my goodness it's so embarrassing I made a mistake I mean I never ever make mistakes so this is really something special but <clears throat> you know when we did chairs to men at the beginning of our lesson today I made an error I made an error I made a boo-boo I made a boo-boo and I hope 
that you don't make the same boo boo I made. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh huh. I made a boo boo right there. I hope you don't do the same. Okay. Hey. Nice work. I can't wait to see what you wrote. Now, if you need a little bit more help, if you need a little bit more time, just rewind this video and listen to it again. Sing with rhythm syllables and fill in what you can. Alrighty? Bye, friends. Now, your homework. Don't worry, it's really easy. For your homework this week, please take a picture of what you just wrote and send it to me. That's all. It should be fine, right? Cool, totally. I can't wait to see your work. I miss you kids so much, and I hope we get to see each other again soon. Bye!